Hi guys, this is Sam from Seward Flow Show and today what I want to talk to you about is how to improve the quality and quantity of your dates. So like when you go out and you talk to women, you get their number, you, you exchange contact details and you want to see her again. Very often, even with the interactions that we feel like went really, really well, they end up just not replying or things get in the way, you can't do one date, she can't do the other and you end up not really seeing her. So I want to maybe look at how you can completely negate this and how you can make it so that the women who you have good conversations with, you're really much more likely to end up actually seeing them and going out with them and doing something that you both want to do. So the first thing is that the typical thing you do when you get the phone number is you focus on you and her meeting up. You make it about, can I see you on Friday? Do you want to meet on Friday? We can go and get a drink in the afternoon on Wednesday. And you make it about the meeting itself. You make it about the action of meeting and not the event that you're going to. But conversely, by finding what it is that you're actually interested in, think finding an event that caters to that interest and then inviting her along to that event. Not only do you kill two birds with one stone and go out and do something that you actually want to do, you show her some of her, your passion, some of the things you like to do, bring her into your reality, but also you take all of the pressure of you needing to perform on the date. If you go and have a coffee at Starbucks, all of the pressure is on the conversation. It's all about, do we connect or not? What are we gonna do after? Like, let's get our coffees and then what? But if you go to say a Jamaican dance hall event in Brixton, you find that and you invite the girl along and you say, hey, I found this really cool event. I've got two tickets. Uh, come with me, there'll be like good Jamaican food and, and all of the rum punch you can possibly imagine. You invite her to an event that takes all of the pressure off the connection between you and her. If she's enjoying the event, you're watching the music, you've got other entertainment, other people around, there's no pressure on that conversation because the event itself is something that you're enjoying. And then you and her being there together is sort of a, a side piece. It's sort of a, a side effect. It's like a, um, a happy uh, side effect of being in an event that you're enjoying. And so it takes all of the pressure off that communication, which actually allows you to be much more physical, right? So picture you're having that coffee. You're in Starbucks doing the coffee and you're thinking, right, well, shouldn't we be like holding hands? Or is there a time that I should you know, touch her hand or touch her leg? Is it gonna be creepy? Are we in the wrong environment? How am I gonna get to know her? How am I gonna maybe move things on from here? These are thoughts that really you shouldn't be having. You should just be enjoying yourself. You should be there in the moment, experiencing fun in the presence of the girl that you like. But when you're stuck in that coffee shop, that's not what you're thinking. However, when you're at that rooftop event, listening to Brazilian music with loads of people dancing around and, and bright colors and, and beautiful views across the city, all of that pressure's taken off. So it's normal for you to just put your hand on her arm and be like, come here, look at this. And bring her over to the other side, to look at whatever's going on, whatever view you've got over there, to interact with the people around you, to interact with the environment that you're in, to listen to the music. And she enjoys that event. And so when she then thinks about you another time, she anchors those feelings of enjoyment that she's felt at the event to you. So she feels like she likes you more. And actually, she will like you more because you've had an opportunity to actually get physical, to to actually bond over a shared experience rather than just focusing on a conversation. So whatever your interests are, it's not important. Find things that are specific to your interest and can accommodate her interests as well. For example, if she's an outdoorsy type of girl, maybe you could go to uh, London City uh, Pier on the North Bank and get the, the boat down to Greenwich. There's a beautiful boat journey down to Greenwich and in Greenwich you have the best Cafe Rouge in England, uh, I would argue, and loads of really nice old pubs. So that could be a great experience, as well as loads of green land and uh, an observatory, a massive star telescope observatory. So there's all these interesting things. If you like sort of Camden and that area, you can walk along the canals and go up Primrose Hill, bring a bottle of Prosecco or wine and have a sit at the top and look over the views and again, interact with that environment. Whatever your interests are, whatever her interests are, Find an event, even if it means buying a ticket and doing a bit of organization, which guys generally on the whole aren't, aren't so good at. It's worth it. Get the tickets, plan to go anyway, invite her. If she doesn't come, invite a friend. 
or invite another girl. But if you've got a fun event to focus on that will take the pressure off your conversation and most importantly, it will allow her to feel secure that if the two of you don't gel that well or the chemistry's not great, you're still at a cool, fun event sharing an experience that you wouldn't otherwise be having. So think in terms of what is the event I want to go to and invite her rather than how can I meet up with her? You take all of the pressure off you and her and you allow an easy landscape for the two of you to connect naturally and authentically. This has been Sam talking to you from Westminster. Wind blowing us backwards. Sam out.